Good morning, Pensacola. Good morning, all you yak packers out there. What is up? What's going on? Welcome back. Well, that is really, really bright. Let me try to fix this. Oh, we're going the wrong way. That's probably going to do it. All right. What's up, guys? What's going on? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Yak Pack Outdoors. And in today's video, what we're going to be doing is a little bit of... Uh, I used to do a series, like this time last year, I did a series called Underwater Action. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to bring the entire series back. I want to. I just need to have consistent pool access. Uh, I have that while I'm here at my father-in-law's house. So what I'm going to do is we're going to compare uh, some fluke rigging techniques. Uh, I'm going to show you guys two ways that, uh, two or three ways that I rig a fluke uh, or multiple flukes. And I'm going to show you guys how I fish that. For those of you that, that don't really fish flukes much, I'm telling you, y'all are missing out. So uh, definitely stay tuned. Let's go get in the pool. All right guys, so this is what we're working with. We're working with a size two Mustad EWG hook. I usually use size two or three, uh, just a regular Palomar knot, 10 pound fluorocarbon line, and a Deep Creek Lures Carolina Shad in the uh, just solid white color. Virtually the same thing as a Zoom split tail fluke. It's just this has a little bit more action, in my opinion. Uh, catch a little bit more fish on these than the Zooms. All right, I'm going to show you guys the first way on how I like to retrieve a uh, weightless fluke. All right, we're just going to pitch this bad boy to the other side of the pool. Over the pool a little bit. All right. So you make your cast. You let it sink. It's weightless, so it's going to take a little bit more time. Just be patient, and you may even get hit on that cast when it's fallen because it falls kind of slow and the tail kind of wiggles on the way down. So once it sinks, uh, all I'm going to do is basically just raise my rod tip up really fast. I'm going to twitch my rod tip. It's going to give it that super, super ridiculously just erratic movement. Let it sink. It basically, what it's mimicking is a, you know, a fish dying in the water. So just quick jerks and just let it. All right, show you guys one more time. Bring it back. Let's kind of get it closer to the camera. There we go. So let her sink down. And you don't even have to let it sink to the bottom. You could just, whatever kind of twitch you want to do. And just the tiniest of rod twitches. That's all it takes. All right, I'm going to show you guys the second way that I like to rig and retrieve uh, the weightless fluke. All right, and the second way I like to do this, especially if I'm trying to cast uh, and get some more distance, is I like to put a, uh, I prefer tungsten, but you don't need tungsten. You use lead, you use brass, whatever kind of weight. But a, a very small uh, bullet style weight, not pegged. So by not pegged, I mean it can slide all the way up and down the line as far as you want it to. Uh, and when you get that really, really long cast, what it's gonna do is that bullet weight's gonna drop and this is gonna chase it. So it's gonna look like a bait fish is chasing something, which is gonna entice those, uh, those bass uh, to strike at this or uh, to try to eat this even more because it's gonna think, hey, that, that bait fish is distracted. Uh, why not try to move in? You know, here's my chance to move in and, and grab me an easy meal. So uh, let's see what this looks like with a not pegged tungsten weight. All right, the not peg tungsten weight. So every time you twitch this thing, every time you pop this thing, it's gonna, it's gonna separate the weight from the worm, or uh, in this case, the weight from the fluke. We'll call it the weight from the hook. It's gonna separate it and it's gonna do exactly like I said. It's gonna make uh, that tungsten weight, it's gonna dive down. It's gonna make that little uh, fluke chase it. Now you don't like a bait fish. It's gonna look super erratic. When it lands on the ground, they'll uh, reconnect. It just, Man, Woo. if I was a good old LMB, I'd eat this. All right, give you guys another cast. May have to do this one a couple times. So it's going to sink, and when it's sinking, it's even going to have a lot more of that crazy uh, erratic action. It's going to look like it's kind of circling down, chasing, doing its thing, unsuspecting. Next thing you know, boom, big old LMB.
and you can uh, obviously this has a weight on it, so you know it's gonna it's gonna sink to the bottom a lot faster than uh, than any other kind of uh, you know weightless worm or weightless fluke. All right, let's give you one more. Let that sink to the bottom on slack line, and just pop it. We got a bait fish chasing their meal. And all I'm doing to pop it, guys, all I'm doing to pop it is barely, you know, one-handed, just barely, barely twitching my rod tip. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the third way that I like to rig and retrieve a uh, fluke. So uh, let's get rigged up. All right, guys, so the last way that I like to uh, rig and retrieve a fluke, weightless, again, two, three alt hook, uh, extra wide gap, doesn't matter, whatever you prefer. Uh, just make that cast. And I like to swim it back. And by swim, all you do, instead of just a consistent reel, you let it sink a little bit and you just twitch your reel handle. Let me see if I can show you guys on here. All you're doing is this right here. Basically, it's uh, walking the dog, but under the water with a fluke. And man, let me tell you about driving fish crazy. Let that sink down a little bit. Kind of point your rod tip down because remember you're you're weightless. So if you got your rod tip up, you're gonna be you know an inch below the water versus a couple feet, and uh, you kind of want it at that couple of feet mark. But that's all we're doing. We're just retrieving like this, just giving it really erratic motions, just a very slow, uh, methodical just retrieve. Nothing crazy, nothing special to it. Let that sink down. Rod tip down. Just give it those pops. You can even pause in between, let it sink a little bit further. Reel up that slack line. Give it those pops. I'm telling you guys. Man, man. Talk about a bait that looks good to some bass. Try to get you guys in front of the camera one more time. All right, there you go. That's gonna wrap it up. Uh, those are three ways, three of the main ways and uh, most often ways that I would like to rig uh, flukes like this. Uh, again, this is a Deep Creek Lures Carolina Shad in the uh, just a solid white color. I'll link them down below if you guys wanna check them out. If not, uh, Zoom uh, Split Tail Fluke, it's almost same thing. Uh, this just got a little bit more action on it. I feel like uh, you get more bites with something that has a little more action on it. But uh, I do appreciate you guys watching, so thank you very much. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Let Yak Pack Outdoors earn your subscription. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Thanks again for watching, guys. Catch y'all next time.